He's got the one, the only Drew Barrymore to the show. There she is. Would you believe it? How are you, Drew? I've just been looking forward to seeing you. Well, I'm, I'm good. Same. I'm so happy to see you. I'm also very jealous of this shirt and tie scenario. And I think that's something I should get into, matching the shirt to the tie. What do you think, gang? Can I pull it off? Yeah? I'm going to look into that immediately. I don't think I can pull off a corduroy vest. Because I think then that's a little... I'm close to Mumford & Sons, but this look is a triumph. It's an I think those Mumford and Sons are pretty appealing. I don't know, James. I feel like you. I, you know, I know, I love but you none of them like are my shape. Your cute track suits. No, but none of them are my shape. So I think that's the issue. If I was, there is no fat Mumfords, and that's the problem. <laughs> or the Sons, or the Sons. And if I wear that sort of gear, I really do look like I've just been fired from a farm. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I could wear a wide whale cord pant. I'll tell you that much. I can, there's like areas of my body that would suit a wide well cord more than others. Well, you're looking great. I'm loving this, I'm loving this whole look. Uh, now, we have to wish you, Drew, happy belated birthday for yesterday. Congrats. Um, did you get the gift I sent you? It was a book. It was a green, a green and white book. Did you get it? It's a green and white book. It's, no. the, 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 it's green on the, I think you've got your arm on it there. Yeah, that was from me. Yes, yeah, no worries. James, yeah, it was my. I just thought. Book. I just thought. You know what? I know that she is passionate about supplying leaves, and that's. I just. <laughs> that's just. I don't want to make a big thing about it. But happy birthday! Are you like me? Do you find yourself getting reflective on your birthday now? Yeah, and I really like birthdays. Like, I'm not shy about them. I'm not like, oh no, it's fine. Like, I don't need any celebration. I'm like, let's drop the mic. Let's go big. Let's ride this hard. A week-long party. Uh, just an excuse to... I really love my birthday, and I'm not big on the word my about anything. This isn't my show. This isn't, you know, I guess they're my kids, but I'm not <laughs> a big my person. My birthday, I feel like, is the best excuse to get people I love together. So I go big, and I'm like, I act like I'm just dying, you know, to celebrate, but really it's just a big fat excuse to get the people I love who are all good friends with each other just to be together. Obviously this year was, you know, this year and I had a big birthday party last year and it really was like the last party. I I it was I threw a huge rager it was a whole weekend long, and everyone I'm talking to that's in my orbit is like, that last party really was the last party. Yeah. And I'm like, I know. I'm glad we went big and went home, because we went big and went home, and we're still home, and we're not, you know. Yeah. So, um, I'm, I'm excited, excited for, for next year. Yeah, me too. I'm excited for Drew optimism. Barrymore's first big party. Yes. That's what, aren't you, Reg? Well, Absolutely. I want to be there. Well, next year, my birthday is 222. So next year it will be 22222. And I think the world, I'm hoping, will be in a better place. And, you know, that maybe me and my friends can come together again. And, and that's really all my birthday counts for is just well, togetherness for the people. We are all people looking forward to it. Really, we really, really are. Now, um, like many people, Drew, over the summer, you fell in love with the show Bridgerton. And you've said that you, it, it's inspired you to consider dating again. Now, talk to me about uh, this. What are we looking for? What's Drew Barrymore looking for? Because I really think I can be of service in here. Really? Look at you. You're already judging up the hair at the prospect of dating. Go on. What are we looking for, Drew? What are we after? Um, you know, of course, I realized that, like, I associated Bridgerton with getting on a dating app and then went and got on the bullhorn about that here on our show. And then I was like, people are going to think it's like the tawdry sex that got me all hopped up and back on a dating app. It wasn't that. It was like this weird kind of relenting to the fact that I'm probably not going to meet someone in some old-fashioned way. I'm not really aggressively looking, but I thought, you know what, I should 
watching this old fashioned show was weirdly this like keyhole entry point for me to accept the modern world. Ooh. Because I am so old fashioned. But what are we looking for, Drew? Give us, give us, give us just the, the what, what's, what are the couple of things you're looking for in this man? Funny, gotta be funny. Okay. I just wanna laugh. That's like always been my big criteria. Funny, funny, funny. I love humor. It's my survival guide. And I can't get rid of my sense of humor. I laugh at everything. I, I love laughing. So funny is, is my favorite um, quality in any person. You have just Friend ruled out or... a lot of the band. So that's fine, <laughs> carry on. <laughs> Uh, see, you know how to make jokes. That's what that's what women want, James. Um, as a testament to your beautiful wife and family, I'm sure they would agree. Um, Sometimes. And um, <laughs> what about age I, uh, range? What's I, our age range? What's our cutoff point? Joel, get ready. What's our cutoff point? <laughs> You know, some people are like 40 going on two years old, and some people are two years old going on 40. So the number is hard. You're um, right. It's not how know. old you are. It's how you are old. God, I get yeah, so deep it... sometimes on this show. <laughs> I can't even deal with myself, guys. I'm like a walking <laughs> affirmation book. Um, now, Drew, you're talking to us from your set. We have to congratulate you on your incredible talk show, The Drew Barrymore Show. <laughs> You're 100 episodes in, uh, absolutely brilliant. You're doing so well. The way that you, and I think your entire team, the way that you launched this show, right bang in the middle of this pandemic, is there any bit of you that feels sort of surprised at how you seemingly just really just managed to do this effortlessly? I hope in some ways that everything that you would think would be working against you was when I would say, we have to stop being precious. People just need another show. They deserve an option, and we need to transport them out of their homes. And then I think launching any show at any time is very overwhelming. It's a very hard thing to pull off. I definitely feel lucky that we're still here. I know we talked about when you came on the show that sort of fear of losing something that you're growing to love so much, like being on a show like this, and that it was very comforting for me to hear from you that it took a while to feel like it wasn't going anywhere at any moment. And I guess you have to really earn that, but it, it was very comforting to me because I felt very scared for months. Like, I was just like, I'm just gonna get that call that I'm done, yeah. this isn't working, I'm fired. It's gonna go away in an instant. And um, that feeling is, uh, is, is there a little less? It's still there, you know? I, and I realized though, that means I care about it so much, which is, very good incentive to just keep working our little butts off. Well, I think you are doing brilliantly.